Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. I was having issues hearing you. All right, so hi guys, Alejandro Narbona here on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. How are you doing today? I'm tired of teacher. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to our lives. I right. just work out right now. <laughs> oh, nice. Staying healthy, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, guys, listen up. Today we have the meet term assistance okay so today is the day that i'm gonna be that we as a group are gonna be working with the platform to check your progress vamos a estar trabajando okay. con la plataforma para ver su progreso um, y ver por dónde van con qué ejercicios han estado teniendo problemas etc okay 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 now yeah. okay remember we're gonna have we must have 80 percent on the platform so you can approve, right? Y obviamente tiene que pasar, Luisito mío. All right. Very good. So, um, have you experienced any problem or any difficult exercise on the platform? In my case, no, I, I, I was trying. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I have a problem with two or three exercise, but, but grammatical problem. All right, on the platform. In the platform, right. All right, so I'm gonna be sharing the screen with you so we can go yeah. through it. Uh -huh. Only one, I was sharing one exercise in the WhatsApp group, but let me check. Okay, all right. So with these exercises, with the knowledge check, 3.4, did every one of you, oh, give me a second, here. Knowledge check 1.4. Did you all finish it? Adonai, you there? You're muted. Stay mute, Adonai. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry. Don't worry about it. Um, hey, Adonai, oh, listen. Okay. I want to apologize with you. Quiero disculparme contigo porque no te puedo contestar el mensaje. Intenté. Don't worry, don't worry. Pero estaba en otra clase. So I really couldn't, I couldn't do it. All right. Okay. So with, let me see, this knowledge check. No, 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 this one. 1.11. Do all of you have it complete? Ya lo tienen completo todos este knowledge check 1.4? Oh, maybe. No. Me, in, me, eh. Yeah, the I, frequency. I'm going to yes. check right now. Okay, let's go ahead and check it. Now you have me here because we got to check it so you can do the mid term evaluation. Okay, I I send you on the in WhatsApp group uh uh, exercise I have mm -hmm. a problem with the resolution the, of the platform. Platform, say it with me, please. Platform. 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 Okay, good. Alguien sabe la respuesta? Now, si ustedes se han fijado, muchachones, queridos míos, cada vez que me mando en esto, yo les pregunto que qué ejercicio es. Okay, so I understand that is how often, pero tendría que chequear toda la plataforma. So the recommendation I give you is the following. Every time you send something to me, make sure you send this, el número. So I can go ahead and check it here. Okay, let me check my number. I have the answer, answer of this. Okay, uh, there you go. I don't have it. Uh, the first is, do you ever play a sport? The 1.4. En el ejercicio número 1.4. 1. 1.4. Mm -hmm. 1. Yes. Right. Uh, en el primero es, mm -hmm. el primero. Do you ever play a sport? 
do you ever play sports? All right. Yes. Yes. And the second is uh, the number three. Sure, I play soccer twice a week. Okay. And yes, the number right three here. is the number one. What do you usually do on Saturday morning? Morning, that's right. El primero, el primero. Mm -hmm. And number four is uh, answer two. Nothing much. I almost always sleep only until noon. Until noon. Correct. And the number five is the number two. Uh -huh. Do you often do you do aerobics at the gym? I'm gonna take a picture of this. En el cinco es el número dos. En el cinco es el dos. Number five is two. Yes, number five is two. Okay. The number six is the number three. No, I hardly ever ever do aerobics. En el seis es el tres. En el siete es el uno. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Mm -hmm. Yes. En el número ocho es el número dos. No, I never exercise on Sunday. Okay. Sundays. I'm not checking anything. I'm just clicking what you're telling me. En el número nueve es el, la respuesta uno. What do you usually do after class? All right. Y en el número diez es el número tres. I go out with my classmate about three times a week. All right, let's double check. Yes, sir. Nice. Nice, good job. <laughs> 50 out of 50 points. Good job, Alnay. Did the rest of the group get the get the yeah. um the answers? Yeah. All right. Yes, teacher. Good. Yeah, I, I checking my my homework and the platform. Mm -hmm. I I how do you say boy por for three before? What 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 do you mean? Say it again. A uh, boy por or oh, I am working ah, with the I'm, three 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 period five. I'm I'm on three point five right now. Uh -huh, I'm three, on three point five. I own. Now I own. what about one point eleven? Because we are trying to check all of the knowledge checks. 1.4, 1, 1. 1.11 right now. 1.11, I, and I, the problem uh, with the uh, last, the ultimate. The, the last one. Me too, teacher. Okay, good. Let's double check. With the last with the number four. 2.11. Mm -hmm. Yep. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Let me see which one is it. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess pretty good to play um, with you. All right. So in this one, it's going to be with this exercise. how well can you type? How well... Okay, uh, así Can lo puse, type? pero me sale malo. Okay. Give me a second. It went out. It's loading again. All right, let's go to the bottom. <coughs> Here we're gonna try how well can you type? Ah, and where can you type? Mm -hmm. you type? How well can you type? Can you type? Good. Does anybody have an issue okay. with 1.11? No, I have a problem with a number one teacher. This one? Yeah, this one. Okay, yeah. guys, does anybody have the answer? How, how, how good, how or good what? are you? 
How good are you? All right, let's double check it. All right, how good are you? Now, the tip right here is this. Remember that um, in English, one of the advices that I give when working with exercises, los ejemplos que doy con los ejercicios es que si a ustedes le preguntan con good o en la respuesta aquí está la respuesta para esto. En la respuesta está la pregunta y en la pregunta está la respuesta. So acá, preguntan con good o contestan con good, contestamos, scratch that. Exacto, ya me enchivole todo. Okay. Si nos contestan con good, preguntamos con good. Si se fijan, nos contestaron con well, vamos a preguntar con well. Okay? Okay. okay. Good. Now, uh, after 1.11, si se fijan, solo estoy viendo los knowledge check. ¿Estamos todos bien con el, la parte 1? With part 1? Yeah. Section 1? Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. What about section 2 and the knowledge checks? From section 2. Do you have any complications with this? Double check it, please. I'm going to open it anyways. Because we got to go to the midterm. At a great time. Hey, did you watch the video I sent you? About Your video. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's double check it. Do you have any questions with 2.4? Or you all have it complete? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta con esto o lo tenemos completo todos? Yo no he llegado a No, no lo he completado. I didn't work yet. Ok, good. Now, it's fine. Acuérdense que todo el mundo, más ahora con, con lo yuca que está la situación, todos tenemos diferentes cosas que hacer, pero necesito que por okay. favor le pongan un poquito porque les explico. Cierto que cada quien lleva su ritmo pero hay un cierto tiempo en que eso tiene que subirse. Y si, digamos, termina el módulo y esto no está terminado, ustedes pueden perder la, <coughs> su cupo para el próximo módulo. ¿Okay? O a veces se les da más tiempo para que terminen el módulo, pero la situación es que si se les da más tiempo, ahí es donde también se afecta el inicio del siguiente módulo. Entonces, en la medida de lo posible que ustedes puedan... Porque el objetivo de la clase de hoy, como ya vamos a la mitad, ya solo quedan después de hoy dos semanas, o sea, ocho clases más, ya tendremos que ir ahí. Si no, ya es como que un, una lucecita de alarma. ¿Ok? Ok, teach. ¿Ninguno de ustedes ha llegado hasta aquí? Okay. No. No, no ya. No. Ok. No. Yo sí, teach. Good, good, good. good, good. Tampoco soy naive, vean, no es que les esté pegando sus chancletazos. <laughs> Now, I'm here to help you. Um, okay. For example, Claudia, ¿por dónde va? Uh, one. Okay. Terminé el ya terminé el uno. Ok, good. Adonai, ¿por dónde va? Eh, sí, voy con esa actividad. No, todas las demás ya las terminé. De las anteriores ya las terminé. Ok, so, ¿en cuál se ha quedado? ¿En qué, en qué literal? En 2.4. Ok. Eh, ese iba a ser ahora. Tenía dudas con las preguntas anteriores. Que ok, good, good, good. And again, I'm sorry, que no, no te puedo contestar. Es, esa clase es algo intensa. Um, Tatiana. ¿Por cuál va? Mm, no me recuerdo, pero creo que es por la... Creo que después de la 2.8, pues no me recuerdo, porque hice el ejercicio después del 2.8. No sé dónde está. Ok, ok, good, good. No, acuérdense que cada, a veces estos también tienen ejercicios adentro. So, good. Roberto. Eh, Starring section 3, teacher. 
start in section three. Right? Uh, I, I, I have problem in 2.11. Two, uh, okay, we're gonna check it right now. Um, Blanca, how are you doing? ¿Cómo va Blanca? ¿En, en cuál va? Blanca. Ok, Emerson, perdón, ¿cómo vamos? Perdón, teacher, en la 3.6, en la sección 3. Ok, All right. there is, there are. Good, good job. Emerson. Ahorita voy por el 2.6. Good, Lino. Hello, you know? Hello, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Uh, 2.7. 2.7. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> listen up. Um, I'm trying to check. No me puedo meter en el midterm ahorita porque no hemos terminado. Y tampoco me puedo meter en el 2.11 a darles las respuestas porque no sería ético de mi parte ni les estoy haciendo un favor, más es más un daño si solo les doy las respuestas. Así que necesito lo siguiente. Um, give me a second. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Okay. So, so we can help each other para que lo podamos hacer entre todos. How many people do we have here? Nine participants. ¿Quiénes van? ¿Quiénes van en la parte 1? Bueno, también. Claudia, ¿quién más? Who else? Lisette. Ok, good. Entonces, Lisette va a trabajar con Claudia en la parte 1. Claudia y Lisette. Good. ¿Quiénes van en la parte 2? Mi, Adonai. Adonai, who else? Mi, Roberto. Emerson. Tatiana. Tatiana. Emerson. Ah, Emerson, ok. Blanca va por el... ¿Cuál me dijo? Tres. Por el tres. ¿Lino? 2.7. Ok, por el dos Perdón, también. 2.13. Ahorita estoy verificando. Va, ya acá se sale. Chivo. Entonces, guys, um, vamos a meter a um, Adonai. Blanca ahí la voy a poner para que me ayude. Adonai, Blanca y Emerson. Van a ir a un grupo. Lino, Roberto y Tatiana van a ir al otro. Ok, so necesito que empiecen desde los primeros y se empiecen a ayudar. Ok, help each other to finish them. No solo den las respuestas, expliquen por qué. All right. Ahí lo voy a estar visitando. Ok. okay. Luis, can you hear me? ¿Me escucha Luis? Hey Luis, can you hear me? Luis. All right. Let me check the groups.
Uh, how often do you ever? Mm -hmm. And practice, do you play a sport? And the parenthesis ponen el verbo ever. And la respuesta posible es tan, do you ever play a sport? Ever you play a sport? Or do you play a sport ever? A sport ever. ¿Cómo sería ahí la, cómo incluiría el verbo ever? Para que la marquemos la respuesta. Ah, vale. En la respuesta. Uh -huh. O sea, do you play a sport? Y entre paréntesis, el verbo ever. Uh -huh. Entonces, son las posibles respuestas. Do you ever play a sport? La siguiente está, ever you play a sport? Y la siguiente es, do you play a sport ever? Eh, para usted, ¿cuál sería la respuesta correcta? I think, mm -hmm. do you, do you play a sport ever? Um, almost, is that... almost, almost, casi. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, teacher. <laughs> yes, I'm paying attention. Okay. Is, do you ever play a sport? Is a right. Es la correcta. Do you ever, do you ever, do you ever play a sport? Uh -huh. And then you for, can, for, acá uh -huh. es donde pueden empezar a, a reemplazar, here is where you can replace. Do you ever play sports? Verbo y complemento, después del do you ever. Ahí es donde lo empezamos a mecanizar. Do you ever eat pupusas? Do you ever go to the gym? Do uh -huh. you ever, y ahí es donde ustedes empiezan, de acuerdo al vocabulario que tienen, a practicar la estructura. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, you're, you're doing good. I like what I see. Se están ayudando, explicando. Good. Continue and let me check how the other groups are doing, okay? Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you, Claudia. No, no, you're welcome. The next one will be 2.11. What number? 2.11. Quiero ver esa. Creo que esa es una que ya le dio. Nueve. Diez, un video. Y la 2.11. Ah, ok. Vaya, ahí es este. Complete las siguientes conversaciones. Recuerde usar el pasado del verbo be. Ah, ¿Está bien? Vaya, la primera sí. es where. Where. Como es este... Eh, la primera es Hola. where. La segunda, where. Sí, la segunda, where. La tercera igual, where. La cuatro, where en forma negativa. Ok. La quinta, where. La sexta, once, was, was, en forma negativa, en was. Wasn't. Wasn't. Y la séptima, was. Ocho, was. Nueve, where. Y diez, was. ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál es el patrón ahí? ¿Cuándo ocupamos was o cuándo ocupamos where? Eh, eh, aquí sería cuando usamos el, eh, el pasado de be, where, es en, en plural. Y was es en singular. Uh -huh. Good job. Yeah, good job. Exactly. Like it. All right. So, no solo vemos las respuestas, sino esa, esa explicación blanca estuvo muy buena. Siempre traten de ver los patrones para que entre todos que estamos aprendiendo nos nutramos de un conocimiento grupal. All right. Good job. Let me check how the other group is doing. Continue. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. 12. 12. Okay. okay. In, this, uh, in this session, participants will listen to two people.
talking about their past vacation. Notice how they use simple past of regular, irregular, and be within the entire conversation. So no. really not 2.12. 2 yes. Okay. Okay, next. Y ya estamos en el 2.13, todo va. Sí, correcto. Ok, allí hay un audio. ¿va? Sí. Vaya, este, escuchemos el audio si quieren. Y vamos contestando. Tatiana, ¿estás ahí? Sí. Ya. Ok. Ya, ya, ya lo hice yo. ¿Ya lo terminaste? Ah. Ok, este. No bien, quedan. eh. Eh, esperemos que Roberto lo, lo escuche pues para que trate de responder las cuatro preguntas que hay ahí. Tienes buena la tres, Tati. Uh, where did where where in the Barbara go? Uh -huh. Let's see. ¿Cómo le escribiste? Solo puse home. Ah, es que yo le agregué eh, Barbara home y me la puso mala. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Igual yo le había puesto como los <laughs> más, por ejemplo, que él fue a San Francisco, digamos. Y Correcto. le puse como que todo. Y me salía mal. Eso le de poner justo lo que dice. Lo Ajá, que... cabal. <risa> igual donde, para responder el sí o no, igual vea lo mismo. Yo gran todo el volado y, y nada. Ajá. Yo complicándome la cosa bien fácil. <risa> sí, hombre. ¿Roberto? Estoy escuchando Ayú... ahorita. Ayúdame. Ah, ok. Any question, let me know. I'm here, guys. Este, in this moment, teacher, eh, eh, Tatiana and Robert, eh, Tatiana eh, already finished uh, 2.13. Mm -hmm. And I, too, and Robert listen the audio. Okay, okay. Once Roberto listens to the audio, you can, you can support him. Le pueden ayudar, apoyar. Yes, este, Roberto estaba en el 2.11, pero ya, ya, ya estamos eh, los tres en el 2.13 para que vayamos avanzando. Fantastic, that's good. That's good. Any question? I'm here. I'm going to, while you finish, let me check how another group is doing, and I'll be right back with you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Porque estábamos bien solo tomando sí. en el otro. Por practice. Y como todo está relacionado, ¿verdad? Sí. Y ahí, por ejemplo, la, eh, la siguiente es: ¿Do you do aerobics at the gym? Entre paréntesis está often. Ah. Eh, las posibles respuestas son: ¿Often do you aerobics at the gym? Do you, la siguiente eh, posible respuesta es, do you often, do you often do aerobics at the gym? Y the next is, do often you do aerobics at the gym? Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh, do, do you often do aerobics? Yes. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Yes, it's right. Okay. And then do you do um, uh, driving uh, at the walk? No, no, sería, do you, no, sería how often? Como una práctica de practicar sería, how often do you drive uh -huh. at the work? At work. At work, uh -huh. Eh, ¿Qué tan a menudo eh, maneja para el trabajo? Es mi pregunta. Es un, eh, hay que contestarla. 
Ah, no, no, esa es mía, es, es como para practicar, no está ahí en el examen, sino que... Ah, ok. Ah. <risa> Ay. Ay. Mm. Never, I hardly never drive. I hardly, I, I hardly uh, ever, it will be I, I hardly, hardly ever. ever. Mm -hmm. I hardly ever. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Vale, la siguiente, the next question is, no, I do aerobic. Entre paréntesis, hardly ever. A possible answer is, no. I do hardly ever aerobic. I no. hardly ever? Aerobic. Oh, never mind, aerobic. never mind. I hardly ever do. <clears throat> uh, next one is no hardly ever I do aerobic. Next, no, I hardly ever do aerobic. Uh, which one? The exit from the side of the Sunday. Is that an option? Ah, esa es una opción. Okay. In this moment, I hardly ever. I hardly ever. Mm -hmm. eh, sería, no, I hardly ever do aerobic, if that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay um, next, uh, next question. Do you exercise on Sunday? Ah, no practicamos esa parte de acá con él. Do you, do you exercise on Sunday? Entre paréntesis está always. Las posibles respuestas serían, do you always exercise on Sunday? And next, do you exercise on Sundays always? Y next, Possibility and where to be always do you exercise on Sunday? Mm -hmm. I think always do you exercise on Sunday? No, it's uh, no, uh, the correct, eh, como es pregunta, eh, sería do, comenzamos con do. Mm, okay, entonces, do you exercise? Always on Sundays? Do, do you always exercise on Sunday? Sí, yes. Okay. That's right. All right, let me check how other group is doing. Good job helping each other. Thank you. You're welcome. What did you do, Barbara? Hey guys, I how are you doing? I don't have enough money to take it. Sorry? How are you doing? Come on. Ah, no, es eh, que estamos escuchando. Oh, sorry. Eh, escuchando un audio de la número 2.13. Okay. A ver si le contestamos, ya que no nos había salido bien. Ok. Eh, sí, en la, en la primera pusí, yo puse San Francisco y me sale mala, y a, al compañero le sale buena. No sé qué pasa. De hecho, también la puse así y me sale buena. So, San Francisco. Francisco. San Francisco. If it's San Francisco, San Francisco. Uh, make sure you have capital letters. Asegúrese que San Ah, es que le había puesto un punto, por eso ah. me salía mala. Uh -huh. También eso. Ah, ok. Bueno, ¿y la número dos? Eh, él dijo que sí lo había disfrutado y que había amado. He loved it. He loved it. Loved Pero it. No, sé si es... loved loved. it. no es eh, yes, he enjoy. Pero en las dos creo que está preguntando que qué disfrutó. Mm, ¿Y entonces cuál sería la respuesta? Y, y yo escuché que dijo el weather, o sea, el clima disfrutó. Porque, ah, okay. bueno... Clima. ¿Se pone solo la palabra clima o el clima? Um, 
probemos de cualquiera de las dos formas, a ver si lo acepta. Mm -hmm. No, no es el clima. Lo volvemos a escuchar. Das the attitude, me llega, das the attitude. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, um, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Oh, that's great. Good for you. Sí dijo que le gustaba el, el ambiente, el clima. Pero que estaba nublado. ¿eh? Ajá, y que había amado ir a San Francisco, pero no sé cómo contestar eso. That's 2.11, right? Or 2.13. Sí, 2.13. Oh, 13. 13. Okay. All right. So, which is the one that you're having issues? It's 2.13, right? Yes. All right. Did he enjoy it? Number two, did he enjoy it? Because I know you have San Francisco already. So, number two, what uh, do you have? The number two. Uh, the number four, number one is where did Jason go? Mm -hmm. Is San Francisco. Correct. Number two is did he enjoy it? Mm -hmm. Pero ahí tenemos la duda. Si le gustó bastante el, el clima o, o amar la ciudad, o amó el viaje o la ciudad, no sé. Okay. ¿Lo pongo de nuevo? Yeah. Let me, let me see if I can share this. No, it's not letting me. All right, yeah, go ahead. So pay attention to the context, though. Because the answer right there is yes or no. Yes or not. Or no. No. All right, play one. Do you have number three and number four already? Yeah, the number two is yes. Me acaban de escribir que están en el hospital. Sorry. Yeah. No worry. I, I see it. <laughs> eh, okay. Pongo de nuevo el, 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 el audio. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Bárbara dice que va al gimnasio todos los días. Listening. Welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Complete the chart. Jason, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. What did you like most about it? Well, San Francisco is such a beautiful place, and the weather was actually pretty nice. Well, that sounds more exciting than my last vacation. What did you do, Barbara? I just stayed home. I don't have enough money to take a trip anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, um, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation. I went to the gym every day, and I lost three pounds. Oh, that's great. Good for you. All right. So, okay, dice que estuvo en casa todo el tiempo y que sí le gustó porque aprovechó el tiempo. No sé si es así. Yep. But here, yes. Jason was talking that he went to San Francisco and he said, I loved it. 
I loved it. What do you think is the meaning of I loved it? Que le encantó. Exactly. So what do you think is the answer? Did he enjoy it? Yes. Disfrutó? Yes. yes. Give it a try. Yes or yes, he did. Only yes. Okay. Yes, Good. he did. I have the answer. Yeah. Sorry. Yes or yes, he did. Yes, he did. And what about where did Barbara go? Only yes. home. Exactly. So give it a try. Oh. Entonces la tercera cuál es? Home. Mm -hmm. oh. That's right. And okay. what about number four? Did she yes. enjoy it? Yes. 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 Okay. There you go. You got this. Those are the answers. Now continue with the rest. Let me check another group. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. How are you doing, guys? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. We are going to work in uh, three point three point four. Four. Okay. Yes. Nice. It's a long. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Three point four is is actually what. What can I say? That was the other 3.4. That one is right before a couple. You're almost in the midterm. Just one more. All right. Good. Okay. Try to help each other. That's me answering, Sunny. Nice to store from pin strip, pine strip. Yes, I have easy. So you're going to take a look at the map and remember the prepositions like this. In front of, next to, uh, the vocabulary too. Nice have some nice stuff. So one of you, if you want, one of you can start reading and then little by little the rest is just like going with it. I am going for question four, teacher. Okay. Now, but are you doing it individually or are you doing it as a group? Remember, the idea is for you to help each other. La idea es que se que se ayuden, no que en chepia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, um, is there a hotel near here? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Uh, hotel, King Plaza. En la esquina de la calle Street y Avenida mm -hmm. Maple. Maple. Mm -hmm. Maple. Station, Maple. Maple. Is 
Now we send this um, to the network from shopping center. And shopping center. Almost shopping center. What did answer, Tatiana or Lima? Hotel. Tronic. Hotel. Oh. Oh, let me move it Mister around here. Get this. It's on the corner I think that is the answer. It is on the corner of my head. In the corner is my head. Yeah. Yeah, remember that on the corner of is pretty much when they get together. So Main Street, Main Street and First Avenue. So right there you have a couple of options because that's a very long street. It can either be the gas station, the post office, right? the park so try to get the context and what's what's bringing you main street It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue, you know. Hotel Kim Plaza. Five phone. Which one are you doing right now? Number four? Main. Or number eight? Main. Guys? Number number one, teacher. La uno están. <laughs> okay, all right, no worries. So, I know he que cerca de aquí. Yes, there's one, Ayuno. It's on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Let me, let me show this with you real quick. This this might be a little bit confusing, but don't worry. Solo estaba dejando, no que sufrieran, sino que trataran. All right, so here we have. On the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Where is Elm Street? Here, right? Here, Elm Street. And then it's Maple Avenue. So on the corner, we just have two options. We have Frank's Cafe, and we also have the King Plaza Hotel. So they have the station. Mm -hmm. So which one do you think it is? So they have Station Public Library. Yes, the Public Library. ¿Qué tenemos aquí en que, que pegue con la calle Elm y la calle Maple? Okay. La esquina de. Hotel. Solo hotel. tenemos dos opciones. Tenemos el hotel y tenemos el café. Y aquí tenemos library, hotel, and park. Entonces, ¿cuál es por eliminación simple? The hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. That it's, it is the hotel. Let's go with the next one. Yes, there's one next to Princess Grocery Store. Now, don't start Princess Grocery Store. From here, yeah. <clears throat> Princess Grocery Store, number two. It tenemos next to. What is the meaning of next to? Hola, pa. A la par. So, what do you have next to Princess Grocery Store? Uh, 
you have the first national bank. ¿Están viendo la misma imagen que yo? Already finished. Yes. Wow, okay. So, I don't. el tip acá, guys, es irse, por ejemplo, a las calles. Uh, bien, Lino ya terminó, ¿no? Yes. There is one on Main Street. ¿Dónde está Main Street? Atrás de... Behind, atrás, Parker Drugstore. So, nos vamos a la Main Street. Todo esto es la Main Street. Y de punto de referencia, atrás de la Parker Drugstore. Ah, aquí está el Parker Drugstore. Atrás tenemos el O'Day's Department Store. Or, mm -hmm. Y está en Main Street. So, this okay. one is going to be Department Store. Yo ya tengo ahí las respuestas, by the way, pero esta es otra historia. No me las copien. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, guys, um, con esto es prácticamente que si tienen un poquito de dificultad, hay que ir a las calles y luego, o sea, no ustedes, vea, porque estamos en cuarentena, sino que a las calles de aquí del, del mapa como puntos de referencia y después ubíquense con las preposiciones. Next to, a la par, etcétera, etcétera. Alright. Now, let's go back to the main room. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, guys, welcome back. So, now that I got you all back, ahora que los tengo acá, were you able to finish your exercises? ¿Pudieron terminar la mayoría de los ejercicios? Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now, igual, ahorita tendríamos que estar llegando al midterm. Traten de, de meterle un poco en el fin de semana. Um, cuando ven el lunes vamos a ver adjectives adjectives to describe appearance okay? entonces lo que yo les aconsejo es que sé que tiene mucho que hacer pero traten de ir como de la mano para que no nos vayamos a perder y si tienen algún es el, el cuatro literalmente cuatro section four four point zero Así que traten de hacer el midterm. Si tienen alguna consulta, pues la podemos trabajar entre todos. ¿Ok? okay. O me escriben, pero okay. últimamente sí he tenido varias, varias consultas, aparte de, de, de mis clases personales y las cosas en las que trabajo. Así que disculpen si no les he contestado a todos, pero he tratado de. So, that's it, guys. A question. Go ahead. It's about the, the fitness test in the platform appear uh, exercise but uh, I, I don't know I don't know if you if you know about that exercise the fitness oh the fitness test is just a, uh -huh. a poll it's no encuesta which encuesta. one is it yeah, I don't know but uh, I, I cannot yeah. put a uh, data yeah it's 1.13 the reading exercise health and fitness quiz uh -huh. yeah, necessary feel, feeling? Mm, nope. Let me double check. I think it's not. It's just for you reading comprehension, but let me okay. confirm. Según me acuerdo, este solo era de... Only read. Ah, no, that, this is only reading. That's only for you. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can write it down in the, in the discussion below there. Okay. So, okay. yeah, the, there's nothing for you to check. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So, um, thank you very much for working together. Gracias por trabajar juntos. Entre ustedes. Okay. And I'll see you Monday. Hope you have a great weekend. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Have a good weekend. Good Take night. care. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>